On Monday night, I got to see Team USA take on Team Canada in Arizona at Chase Field, home of the Arizona Diamondbacks. That was my first time ever seeing the World Baseball Classic, and I got to meet a minor league baseball player who was sitting just a row in front of me. But before we get into that, let's start with the actual game. Team USA started off very, very strong, putting up a nine spot. I thought this game was gonna be like 30 nothing by the time it was all said and done. However, the offense would eventually cool off, but Team USA would put up that nine spot in the first inning. We saw Mike Trout bomb. He got on twice this inning and came around to score both times, and they batted around, and then some. I mean, it was just an incredible inning. Team USA, the pitching was great. After a Lance Lynn home run, they did not give up a run throughout the entirety of this game. 12-1 to 1 was the final score of the Team USA game, but kind of some of my thoughts on the game itself. I felt like Team Canada... There was a lot of really great players on that team. It just felt like they were just kind of missing opportunities. Lance Lynn, got to give him some credit. He was pitching pretty good, but Freddie Freeman, Overall, I mean, that was kind of the only guy I really truly knew from Team Canada. I know Matt Brash is a starting pitcher for that team, but he didn't make an appearance that game. So other than him, I really wasn't super familiar with a lot of these guys. I noticed on the scoreboard, a lot of them were either minor league players, maybe the independent ball league players. Not a lot of them have had major league experience. For Team USA, that team is an absolute all-star team. I mean, you got Trey Turner at shortstop pushing Tim Anderson over to second base. Tim Anderson hardly ever plays over there, so the fact that they have to kind of reorganize player positions just goes to show how great this team overall was. Mike Trout obviously showed up to play this game, hit that bomb in the first inning off of the second pitcher to come in that inning. Along with that, I mean, we've got two of the best catchers in baseball in Will Smith, JT Real Muto. I mean, Team USA, after they lost to Mexico and they lost pretty bad 11 to five, I really was kind of just unsure at what level of production we were gonna see. But obviously the offense was there, the pitching was back to normal. It felt like there was a lot of just kind of blow up innings. But in this game, there was a lot in the first four or five innings. But after that, it was kind of really slow. But they mercy ruled them, so it wasn't even a full nine inning game, which was kind of a little bit, I guess, disappointing in some ways. And other ways, it was kind of good because it was already taking a long time. But either way, that was an absolute amazing game to see in person. I'm so glad that I went with my family. And I'll show a couple of pictures and a couple of highlights that I recorded while I was there. But now let's get into the actual really cool part, which is I got to meet a minor league baseball player. So the baseball player that I met, his name is Logan Wagner. He's actually funny enough, a little bit younger than I am. He just turned 19 a few days ago and he is playing currently in spring training in Arizona. That's why he was at that World Baseball Classic game. He's playing for the Los Angeles Dodgers. So essentially what he kind of told me was that he moved over to third base almost immediately after getting drafted because there just was so much talented shortstops in that Dodgers system that he felt like he didn't have the mobility that they had and just like kind of the overall just range that they did. He has a strong arm, but overall that's kind of better suited for third base. Other than that though, there was a lot of cool other things he was sharing about. He kind of overheard me talking about Ethan Salas, the 16 year old catcher for the San Diego Padres. And that's kind of what started the conversation. I didn't realize he was an actual minor league baseball player until he talked about getting drafted and then talked about playing in spring training. I was kind of probing a little bit more to see if I could figure out anything else to kind of just decipher between it. I didn't actually ask him like what his name was, which is kind of the weird part I probably should have. But so essentially what I did in order to figure out who he actually was, was I went to the 2022 draft board of the Dodgers to see where he got drafted. He got drafted in the sixth round of that draft. And it was kind of weird because he was talking about graduating last year. He's already drafted, already playing in spring training. He did get into some rookie ball games last year. Obviously when you're getting drafted kind of midway through the year, there's only like one or two months left before the season's over. So you really didn't get more than like 15 or so games. But other than that, it was really kind of interesting talking to him about the game of baseball and just kind of picking his brain about some of the things that he's learned. And he was telling me that Jason Hayward and Mookie Betts were two guys that he saw at Dodgers camp that he was really, really looking forward to kind of hanging out with, getting a picture with, but eventually realized that there really wasn't enough time for that. And he kind of had to kind of just learn to move on past that and realize that they're just human beings like you and I. So it's kind of one of those funny things where like, even he is like a fan of the game, fan of like certain players, but he kind of had to rein his emotions in. But really he wasn't there for very long. He was maybe there for like three or four innings, if that. I mean, so we kind of were talking to him for maybe like close to 20, 25 minutes in between certain innings and all that. But I mean, it was really kind of a cool moment. My dad was like telling me I should get a picture with him. And I was like, don't you think that'd be a little bit weird? I mean, he's wow. not even in the major leagues yet. And that'd be kind of awkward. Just, I don't know. It was kind of worth it in itself. Just kind of being able to talk to a professional baseball player. But um, yeah, dude, the guy was absolutely jacked. I mean, he, I mean, this guy, I mean, his, his arms were just like massive. I mean, seriously, I probably should have asked him what his meal plan was. Come to think of it. Bruh. 
Oh well. In any event, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, consider subscribing. If there's any comments you guys have, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.